We're just getting into our newsroom, a new uh, Liz Cheney ad, and she uses mm. a familiar face um, to talk about some of this Trumpism. So let's watch that. Okay. In our nation's 246 year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He tried to steal the last election using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. He is a coward. A real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. He lost his election and he lost big. I know it, he knows it, and deep down, I think most Republicans know it. Mm. That, how mm. about that? How about that, Ron? Well, you know, bring it, bring, bring it out. But look, it, it goes to the point that the, the congressman was making about kind of the evolution of the Republican Party. I mean, it was only 15 years ago that, that Cheney was considered the conservative, Dick Cheney was considered the conservative end of the GOP. Democrats call them Voldemort, right? Uh, and now, because he ascribes to a vision of conservatism that is centered on small government, strong national defense, uh, as opposed to this sense of grievance about being displaced in a changing and diversifying country, uh, he's kind of, you know, uh, on the outs uh, in this in this party. And, you know, Liz Cheney is, I think, a perfect embodiment, uh, highly unlikely to win her primary. Um, but she symbolizes a lot of, you know, this roughly one quarter to one fifth, somewhere in there, of Republican voters who are deeply uneasy with the Trump direction, but yet have continued to vote for candidates uh, advancing it uh, on the grounds that they like Democrats even less. What does she do going forward? What do they do going forward? What does Dick Cheney, George W. Bush do going forward? I think that it's a critical question for how American yeah. politics evolves and how great this threat to democracy becomes uh, in the next several years. Joe, you can't really call Dick Cheney a rhino. So what do you think the response yeah. to that ad will be? No, you can't, Allison. But again, I'm called a rhino every day. And you know I'm the crazy Tea Party guy. Look, every word Dick Cheney said in that ad is spot on. But here's the deal. Liz Cheney's going to lose in a couple weeks. And she's going to lose soundly because the Republican Party base doesn't give a damn about any of that stuff anymore. They are enthralled with this notion of a strong man and a dictator. Okay, Joe Walsh, Ron Brown. Can I just add, very quickly, Ron, go. Real quick, very quick. There are so many conservative pundits who are trying to make the case that the Republican Party has moved beyond Trump. Look at Arizona, look at Michigan election deniers in all of the top offices, what's going to top offices nominate, what's going to happen with Liz Cheney. This is a party that is still largely in his thrall and even more than him personally is animated Amen. by the same things that he brought to the service. Okay. On that, Amen, uh, on that point of agreement, uh, Ron Brownstein, Joe Walsh, thank you.